Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining with me in a time of prayer this evening. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. Happy birthday, Mom. Hope you've had an awesome day. Grateful for my mom and dad. Today is her 85th birthday and that they, I know most Wednesday evenings, they try to watch our, what would normally be our Bible study. So if you were caught off guard when I said prayer, let me just explain for a moment. Probably most of you are aware that Friendship Wesleyan Church is in the middle of a prayer campaign. Um, that involves uh, different places of prayer in our church. A couple of weeks ago when I shared, I shared three places. Our proof groups, this is not a Wednesday night online, a proof group. That's a little bit different. Um, our prayer groups, which this is, I'll get to that in a moment. Then we have Bible studies, and we're just asking everybody to pray the two prayers. We're going to pick back up on Wednesday night Bible studies on December 4th in the uh, Paul's letter to the church in Galatia, Galatians. And so put that on your calendar, looking forward to that. But in the meantime, on Wednesday evenings and anywhere and any place someone wants to begin a prayer group, um, we just suggested, you don't have to rigidly follow this model. Uh, it's called the Acts Prayer Model from the Lord's Prayer, Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. And you just keep in mind adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Um, now, I challenged our church to gather in groups of four or more. But if it's just you, you can pray this. Maybe you are with someone else. Remember, Jesus said, Matthew 18, verse 20, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. So uh, please uh, um, uh, pray together. Once again, if you're by yourself, please pray. Um, the Lord is there with you as well. Please pray. Um, and if you'd like to use this model for prayer, then I ask, this is part of our proof prayer groups, just two prayers. I challenged everybody Sunday to be praying this wherever they go. God, what do you want me to know? God, what do you want me to do? So as you're coming and going, I mentioned Sunday, um, when you pray those prayers, uh, God encounters do happen and take place. So be aware that if you pray it, God loves those prayers and God will show you what he wants you to know because God is up to something and it's about the saving of people. It's about... Um, blessing and ministering to other people's lives. And we are the proof that God is real, that God changes lives, that God is patient, that God loving, kind, and mercifully. See what I'm saying? So tonight, while it's not a proof group, we do say it, those two prayers, which are part of our proof prayers. So what I've told you I'm going to do on Wednesday nights, um, hopefully on Wednesdays, my introduction will be shorter and shorter, just making sure everybody knows what we're doing. Um, this is just an introductory to your prayer time. Maybe you started a group of prayer uh, or your group that gathers together to watch online already as a prayer group. Um, and so what I said I would do is each Wednesday evening, um, and give you a uh, an introductory moment of prayer using the Acts prayer model, um, and then um, turn it over to you. Last evening, I think we'll do it this evening as well. Um, at the close of the prayer, I'll pray the Lord's Prayer. I have it on the screen for you, um, and we'll pray the Lord's Prayer together. Let me lead us in that opening word of prayer. Father, we come to you tonight grateful so much, Father, in our lives, so many thoughts on our minds that, uh, Father, our adoration and worship and praise of who you are, Father, in your love and your mercy, you are mighty God, and we thank you, Father. And every time I think of adoration and praise, I think of Jehovah Jireh. You're everything that we have need of, and you provide for our every need. Father, we come to you in confession. My mind wanders to those same places, Lord. We're weak. You're strong. We don't know much, but you know everything. 
and we are in need of you. Father, each of our individual confession, maybe some of us have struggled with the motions that we know, Father, um, you're not pleased with, maybe unrighteous anger, maybe moments, of uh, Father, uh, where we just need to come before you and ask forgiveness. Once again, grateful for your word that you are faithful and just to forgive. So forgive us tonight as we come before you, Father. Um, forgive us for our distractions and our busyness that draws us away from you. Draw us back, Lord God, we pray. Father, thank you. Um, gratitude seems to come easy for us, Lord, in words, but we want heart gratitude as well. So, Father God, we ask you this evening to receive our gratitude for Jesus, the good news, the gospel, Lord. Thank you for loving on us and all you've provided for us. And Father, we come to you tonight. Please, everywhere we go, in our homes, in the stores we enter into, the places that we travel to, wherever we are, Father, show us what you want us to know. Show us what you want us to do that we could be ministers to other people and share the good news of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father, we give you thanks and praise. Once again, we're grateful for you teaching us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So now you, you uh, uh, go and pray adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication in your time of prayer, whether you're alone or with your group. Next week, I'll do the same thing. I will. Uh, put online an introductory prayer for each of your times together. God bless. Have a God week.